You get him on base, he's going to find his way to get to second. Popped up. Right side of the infield. The first baseman Morris coming down. He was able to locate it, but couldn't make the play. Overran it a little bit. Payoff pitch is high for ball four. So Austin, the number two man in the batting order, that's Davis Diaz. Two for seven in the series. Austin going on the first move to the plate. It's close play at second, but he's safe. Just with the, the presence he has up there at the plate. Leans away from ball four, runners to the corners. Two strike pitch with two outs and two on. Up the middle and through. Austin comes home to score. Espinal stops at second. A two out hit for Jaden Davis. And Vanderbilt has the first run of the day. One two loop to Leneve. Bounce to Kubo. Vanderbilt is done in the first inning. Went 0 for 5 with a couple strikeouts. 2 2 from Devin Futrell. There's the changeup, and Morris is the first out of the second. Three Ks already. And I think that hit the arm guard, so he'll be the first base runner for Illinois State. Close games recently to where you would kind of get that defense out there. A bunt, well placed. Futrell makes the throw to first to get the out. Verbe moves up to second with two gone. 0 2 from Futrell. Makes quick work of the number seven man in the batting order. 2 2 pitch. Batser to Lawrence at third. He was playing back, hurries it across, not in time. 11 for 11 between Polk and Humphrey and Bastine. Polk on the run. Solid throw to second, and he's out. And Polk saying, hey, maybe you guys want to review this one. Yeah, it looked like Polk might have gotten that left hand in there. They'll take a look here. That's yeah, tough to see. He didn't have a huge lead either, and I think that might have been a hit and run. But the call was now, it's reversed, and good hitters count here. Showing bunt, and very nicely done. Out is recorded at first as Morris comes down to field the bunt. Just by how quick his hands get through the zone. Polk leading from third, a swing and a miss. See a fist pump from the catcher, Heron. Smashes it. Back up the middle, it went off the pitcher, Perry. Everybody's safe as Polk comes in to score to make it 2 nothing. Cobbler is able to manufacture a run without hitting one out of the infield. There's a foul tip of the plate as Diaz swings in the first pitch. Austin Bluff going to state put. And they'll call it, call it a balk. That's what it looked like. I don't know if he didn't come set. One and two to the Commodore third baseman. Out on strikes. Foul tip, Heron hangs on, and Vanderbilt's finished in the second. You know you're going to get a quality performance from Futrell and give your team a chance to win. Quality start to this game as he strikes out Lawrence for the second time. Had a lot of success with that last year. Payoff of one out. Strikeout number six recorded by Futrell. He gets Pacell on a pitch away. Futrell looking to close out the inning with a one-two pitch. Toward right, Matthew Polk. With the shades toward the line, he got it. Three up, three down for Illinois State. Hits this one back up the middle and through for a single. Again for Vanderbilt, the leadoff man getting on base. That's four straight innings. Around the country, so there's a lot of talent in that outfield. Polk runs, safe at second. Ball gets loose, but not far enough. Second steal of the day for the Commodore right fielder. Nice pitch for strike three. Humphrey was looking for something else. Fast time behind in the count. Got him again. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Perry after Polk moved into scoring position. Good lead at second for Polk. Smack toward right center field and down for a pace hit. Polk going on contact will come home to score easily. Austin has his second RBI of the afternoon. It is 3-0 Vanderbilt. Fastball rides over the middle to play a little bit more. Austin goes, pitch outside, no chance to get him. Ball ends up in center field. RJ trying to get an extra 90 is in safely. You put pressure on the defense. Ready for another payoff pitch. Ball four. Last four games, really. Doing some great, great work from the left side of the plate, clearing that eight game hit streak for Kozul. They might get him out here. Popped up behind second. The shortstop Chang. Says, I got it, and he does. Strike three, ring him up. 
Got him out. So really a lot of work there. Sorry, Andrew. Soft liner into right for the first hit of the day for Illinois State. I looked it up just a moment ago. 25 of 29. Now they got it picked off. Austin, a solid throw to Vastine. He'll tag him out without a slide from Rasmussen heading to second. Came back for one final season and has had a terrific year so far. And that pitch got him. Found a leaky sprinkler. Went ahead and fixed it and was just testing it out. Matthew Polk. Leaks one over to right field. Leneve goes first to third. A single on the first pitch thrown by Husak. The Commodores have him at the corners with two outs. Fly ball to right. Should do the job. Hit deep, but not deep enough. Catch made by Rabin, and Vanderbilt is done in the fifth. A base hit and two left. First at bat back in the third against Futrell. Smash down the third baseline. Maybe the hardest hit ball of the day, Kubo. Going to put on the brakes, though, at first as Leneve got to that ball quickly and got it back in. Nicely done. A one-out single for Illinois State. Right side. See if it's hard enough. They get the out at second and the turn. 4-6-3. Davis, Bastine, Austin. During what we thought was going to be an inning break, we we're getting a review on this double play that... Out of both places, so the double play stands. Looks like he might be able to get up in there. Down the left field line, in for extra bases for Morris. Has that first hit of the series. Slides in at second with a two-out double. Popped up. Short center field. It's Vastine. It's Humphrey. Humphrey there. Inning over. This Illinois State pitcher's really been working the outside part of the zone. Off the pitcher's glove. A play for the shortstop. And in time at first is Chang coming up the middle, read it well. Trying to match the eight innings that Bryce Cunningham gave Tim Corbin's team yesterday. Excellent starting pitching throughout the weekend for Vanderbilt. Line drive toward right, and Polk will have to play it on a top as Tyler Heron starts the eighth. Hit a soft liner that dropped in and right. Pops this one up left side. Futrell says, I'm going to make this play. One out. Probably going to have to get it some quick outs here. Back to the mound. Slowly hit. Davis to first. Safe. One and one. It's a runner's lead. Pitch number 100 of the day. See if Illinois State puts those runners in motion. They stay put. It's hit. Out towards shortstop. Vastine. Davis. Austin. The Commodores get another big double play. This time, 6-4-3, started by Jonathan Vastine. Futrell had a little word, I think, for the uh, first base dugout as he went off the field after the double play ball. A little fired up. Long drive, right field off the bat of Leneve. See you later. A solo home run to start the eighth. So Leneve leaves the yard. Home run number three, RBI number 19. And that right there is why a lot of guys don't pitch Leneve in. You leave it up, he's going to make you pay. Holy cow, got out of here in a hurry. So many of his home runs to left field. He pulls that one out of here to right. The second home run of the series to go with one. He hit on Friday night. Devin Futrell back for the ninth, trying to finish what he started. Really, really effective throughout this game today. Didn't allow a hit until the fifth inning we saw. Andrew, a lot of strikeouts early in the game and a lot of ground outs, including two big double play balls as this game has progressed. Definitely really keep an eye on, the, on that pitch count. Rolled over up the middle. Davis, a nice play, and out at first. Payoff with one out. Back up the middle again. Davis makes the throw in time. Two gone. No runs, five hits for the Redbirds. Roller to the right side, charging Davis. The flip, the first. Shutout, complete game. Devin Futrell shuts him down on five hits, and the Commodores get the three-game sweep of Illinois State with a 4-0 win.